Are you thinking about moving to Markham? Did you know that Markham has 30 neighborhoods? Some are huge, some are small, but nonetheless, that's a lot of neighborhoods. Which one is the right fit for you? If you were thinking of calling Markham your home, then come along this journey with me from neighborhood to neighborhood, where I will show you what the neighborhood looks like, the amenities, the schools, the activities, the real estate, and the whole shebang. Today, we will be visiting Bullock, one of the biggest communities in the central Markham area. It's a hustling, bustling neighborhood with something for everyone to do. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I will be recording in the car because it is very windy outside and I tried recording but the sound was horrible. So um, we will stay in the car but I will show you around what the neighborhood looks like, the different things that you can do in the neighborhood and I hope you enjoy this tour. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, playing, working in Markham, Ontario and the surrounding areas of York region, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in this area. My name is Faiza and I've been helping people just like you make the move to Markham and I love it. As a local real estate agent here, I want to help you make that move. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and I'll be happy to help you make a smooth move to Markham. Now let's go see Bullock. The Bullock community is bordered in the north by the railway line that runs from Markham Station to Centennial Station. In the east, the boundary follows the Rouge River stream, which runs almost parallel with the Markham Road. McCarman Road is to the west and Highway 7 to the south. There are two GO stations on the east and west side of this community. So commuting from here is very easy for people that are working in downtown Toronto. The area is transected by Bullock Drive and Highway 7 which are major bus routes. So public transport to other parts of Markham is also very easy from here. Most people do have cars and room on their drivers to keep them, so it is the most popular way to get around in this neighborhood. The community does not have a community center on its own. However, there are two community centers in the neighboring Markville community and Markham Village community. Markham Centennial Community Center has a NHL-sized ice rink, bocce courts, community hall, fitness center, gymnasium, squash courts, and swimming pool. Markham Village Community Center offers a very impressive library. It has an ice rink, a community hall, and several meeting rooms. Two elementary schools in this community, James Robinson Public School and Roy H. Crosby Public, Public School, both schools are very well respected. Secondary school students have to travel a little bit farther to either Markville Secondary School, Markham District High School, or to Father Michael McGivney Catholic School. There are two private schools in this area as well that offer secondary school programs, Cambridge Academy and Canada Benson Academy. There are two main shopping plazas in this neighborhood that offer a lot of different services for residents. The first one is Sherwood Plaza. You'll find from restaurants to dance studio to bakery to grocery stores to pharmacy there's a service for all your day-to-day -day needs there's also living lighting plaza where you will find a lot of restaurants from hot pot to Sichuan cuisine to peruvian cuisine to dumpling congee greek cuisine and vietnamese a lot of different choices of cuisine for residents here if you have young kids, there are two private swimming schools, WD Swim School and Olympian School of Swimming. Bullock Community boasts a 305-acre park called Milne Dam Conservation Park. This is the largest park in Markham with the Rouge River flowing in the middle and surrounded with a lush forest on the southern and eastern edges. It is located on the east side of McCammon Road, just south of Highway 7. The park offers 2.3 kilometers of trails suitable for walking, jogging, and cycling as well. There is a beach area. It features 12 picnic areas that accommodate 50 to 300 people. Special programs are also available such as Canada Day celebration. Milne Park is considered one of the best kept treasure of Markham because it features a variety of plants and wildlife. You can see many migratory birds in the early morning and evening as they stop off in the Milne Dam, Milne Dam Conservation Park. 
Other parks in this area are Robinson Park, which has two baseball diamonds, children playground, and tennis courts. And then there is Tannery Pond, which is a natural area with boardwalk trail running through it. Things to do in Bullock. Joyride 150 Indoor Bike Park located on Bullock. This is the largest indoor bike park in Canada with over 100,000 square feet of riding fun for all ages. They offer beginner to expert sections, pump tracks, jump lines, street plaza, outdoor dirt jumps, weather permitting of course, a cross country floor trail and much more. You can bring your own bike and helmet or you can rent from them. They also offer after school programs and weekly summer camps, private instruction for all ages and you can throw a birthday party there as well. And then there is Markham Bowl. Located on Highway 7, this is a one-stop entertainment center in Markham. Finding an activity that the whole family can enjoy isn't as easy as it used to be, but Markham Bowl is a one-stop entertainment right here. They have something for everyone to do. They were voted the best bowling alley in Markham for 23 consecutive years. Now let's talk about some real estate. The homes in the Villa community are typically single, detached, traditional homes built in the 50s and 60s with three to four bedrooms. There are bungalows, side split and back split homes in abundance here. The plot sizes are generous and this has recently made homes very popular for families who want to do renovations. They could do additions or just build a brand new home. Bullock has been going through a process of regentrification lately with the area with many monster homes replacing the older and smaller homes. About 70% of residents are homeowners here and 30% are renters. A four bedroom, three bath, 60 by 110 foot lot listed for $1,390,000. A five bed, two bath, 60 by 150 foot lot listed for $1,788,000. A five bed, five bath, 4,300 square foot, 150 foot lot frontage listed for $2,499,000. Bullock community has a definite appeal to residents or people considering moving to Markham. It has homes that are on generous plots of land and now new monster homes are replacing the older ones which gives the area a much modern appeal. There are also great parks and community centers nearby. It has good schools and getting around or commuting is easy to do. Overall, it is a great choice for families who want flexibility in their living spaces and they want to be in the center of the town and simultaneously close to nature. That's basically the wrap on the tour of Bullock in Markham. I hope you found some value in this video. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email and I will be happy to help you make a smooth move to Markham. Also, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to learn everything there is to know about living in York region. Until next time, I'll see you guys around town.